Hi, it's you and I. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I think you guys are pretty used to seeing me um open up these videos looking at a hot mess. And I will say that every single time because yeah, y'all need to get used to it if you're not already. But anyways, I'm so happy to see y'all and talk to y'all. I'm really taking out some boho braids that I did. I will link my TikTok down in the description below. So go check that out if you're willing to see how I installed the bohemian braids. But it was my first time. Honestly, it was a very tedious process, but it was worth it. They came out very cute. I did my hair like February 7th, and then I turned the knotless into boho like three days later. It's now going on March 20th. So you do the math. My, yeah, my braids can last for a month. That's not something that I just want to do every time because, you know, I like to, I'm a girl and I want to stay maintenance. I want to stay pretty and I want my scalp to stay healthy. Um, Today we will be doing an Amla and fenugreek treatment with gore gum and vegetable glycerin. I did get this method on TikTok. Now the fenugreek has been great at treating my dry scalp, lakey, itchy scalp. And then the glycerin. Glycerin is like your favorite conditioner on crack. So, so nourishing and conditioning to your hair it is insane. Y'all, my birthday is coming up. My birthday is April 24th. If you do not know, now you know. Taurus ganger. I already have my hair appointment booked and my nail appointment. Who's not prepared? So this shit is about to be so fuego. I'm so excited to be a bad B for my birthday. Like we're getting happier, wealthier, blissfier more blissful, um, more wise, more independent, more free, more more love, more happiness. Like, I'm just so excited. This year, I really do just want the pamper lifestyle. And I want y'all to come along with me because we have uh, so many things coming up and prepared for this new year. And I'm just so excited to share all of it with you guys. I'm so, so, so excited. So enough talking. I'm going to sit here and take out these braids and I will see y'all when it's time to put this hair mask in, so. Later. Ah, we are in the kitchen. I'm watching Love is Blind. So we're just gonna speed this up. This is the group. Honestly, it's actually not supposed to be this gooey, but if I mix it, it gets a little better. I don't even want to add water to it or anything because it's not supposed to be this gooey. I'm supposed to let it sit overnight, but I only let it sit for like an hour because I need to get this started. But yeah, we're just going to put that in my hair now. It's normally way um, like silkier and like smoother. This is a rushed process right now. I usually just apply it to my scalp. Oh, separate all the sections and go up. And just put it directly on my scalp. I should have combed it out first. I'm gonna comb out the next section before I start. Should be wetting it also, to be honest. Good morning. So y'all, it's actually the next day and it's like six, seven o'clock in the morning right now. Um, I have to work at 11 today. So I just decided to let it sit overnight because I really wanted to get it like penetrated into my scalp. Also, I couldn't wash it last night. After I put the mask in my hair, my mom was like, you're making too much noise. You need to stop. We all gotta go to work and school tomorrow. Literally could not finish it last night. So it's just us here. And now we're going to wash this out. I'm going to be using Shea Moisture to wash. Shea Moisture to condition. Apple cider vinegar rinse on the front part of my hair. Because those are the most sensitive to my itchy scalp. If you guys want to get out. I made the wrong decision in the box. And I think you know that. Just came back from a little sesh. My eyes are looking somewhere else. I'm looking in the mirror in front of me. But y'all, my hair is blow dried. I used this 
this smooth your mother's no not your mother's smooth anti frizz smooth mousse priming cream i put this on on each section before i blow dry my hair it says that it goes up to 450 degrees while smoothing frizz what do you think i usually put nothing in my hair when i flat iron so that i can get it real slick but then i realize how dry it gets over time I feel like I get heat damage easier that way. But now we're gonna flat iron. This is Mad Aggie because the only damn plug I have is right there. I'm not sure where my mom found this flat iron, but I, wait, let me show y'all the flat iron I've been using. I know that the best like types of heat tools you're supposed to use are ones that have like ions. I really wanna get that blue one off the of TikTok shop. Really, really, really bad. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. This one is a Beliza from Marshalls and this one is a Diogra. This has the same ions too. And this is also the one my mom uses. And her, she got some real nice silky hair. Also, I wanna tell you guys something. So I have this sheet of like different types of oils that can be used as heat protectants and then the temperature that the oil can go up to. And I tried coconut oil as a heat protectant and I can't really tell the difference between using not using coconut oil and using coconut oil as heat protectant, so. We're gonna do two sections differently. We're gonna do a section without coconut oil to start. And then we're gonna put some coconut oil on the other section and see the difference between the straight end, the moisture, my ends. We're gonna look at my ends. And now my hair is extremely dry. So I got this brush for hair. Just fry that hoe. It's so funny because this left bottom section is always a section I experiment with. And it's like the most dry, brittle part of my hair. see the see-through part like do i need to trim that or do i just have layers you know but this looks kind of dry like if i was to put this in a ponytail it looks kind of dry it looks split do the same thing on the other side yeah i think this already looks kind of shinier but I, they're also just done, so we'll give it a second. Bad thing. Yeah, oh for God. shit sure. This side. Oh for shit sure. Yeah. That's frizzy. You can see the frizz. That's really bad. And then shine. It's a little, you know what I'm saying? Of course, but overall. I knew it. Oh man. And it's still bouncy. But it looks moisturized. <laughs> this side looks dry as hell. Oh, okay, so we will be back uh when this is done. Alright, so we'll be back when everything is done. Cause BRB. Okay, y'all, I really need to learn. Look how shiny. I look like Cat Williams, but she looks good, girl. Like I could wear my hair just like this to work today. I need to learn specific curl patterns to put the flat iron in. Like, I just be doing these random ass curls. Because when I brush it out, it'll be like, ooh, that's really cute. But y'all, if you want to learn a trick, before you flat iron at home, put coconut oil on your ends only. Girl, I promise you, you're not going to be disappointed. My favorite thing to do when my hair is straightened is a half up, half up, half down. I feel like that just eats on me. Three days later. 
couple days though since I saw y'all. I've had my hair straightened for a couple days and this is what it looks like. <laughs> I've only moisturized it once also since I straightened it, which is not good. It was a hectic three days. It's because I had to work. Once I started work on Friday, I just um got into the mode where I just only do work. Worry about work during those days, which I really want to change. Hopefully this won't happen again because this is how I end up being inconsistent because I worry about things like work over my goals. My goals are fueled by the money that I make at work, but I already know how to do my job. So what's the sense in not putting my energy into anything else when I'm done working? And then I go to sleep at night and I'm back to back at work again. So I'm only building energy for work. Not for shit else. I'm done moving like that. I want to do the three part. I think it's the best it's gonna get, literally. So I'm gonna do some more parting, try to figure out exactly how to tackle this. And I'm actually gonna do some research on my iPad right now. Just for everybody that be asking me like, how do I be learning how to do stuff? It's this, I literally prep myself to what makes sense to me and then i'll stop do some research and keep it moving okay y'all this was so easy so now i'm gonna have to wait till my mom gets home to finish this hair because pink edge booster to get the um slick mint i'm just gonna moisturize my hair for now i'm gonna show how i moisturize my scalp so i have this thing this jar full of shea butter shea butter is really the only thing that nourishes my scalp like for real the only thing And I'm just gonna clean up and then I'll be back when I got the edge booster. Hi guys! <laughs> we are better. It is the next fucking day. And I ended up going to the hair store and then I ran like a bunch of other errands until like 10 o'clock at night. So I, I got some Chick fil A and then I went to bed. And I already started the process. So we have the slick back so far and we have this side. So yeah, I got this and I got these cute ass clips. The way this edge booster is slicking my hair down is like not even freaking funny. Like I got some little parts out here that I'm gonna curl when I'm done. But y'all, this slick game is wild. I was thinking about putting some gossipy up here because I didn't think it was gonna give like that slick, you know? But Girl, it's fine. I just put it up there. I'm using the edge brush specifically because that's what she was doing in the video too. I just put it up there and then I follow it with my finger. And girl, it is <laughs> giving. Anyways, we're just going to finish off this ponytail. But actually, first I'm going to go in with some butter on my ends. Why you keep calling me? Walking on a thin line, we've been through it like ten times. I'ma put you in line. Yeah, I had you on an incline. Now I don't even wanna reply. I'ma have to decline. Yeah, you show me I don't wanna rewind. Yeah, no, you a ten, but that attitude ain't fine. The following Thursday. So I'm back. I'm in the closet now because it's nighttime. I did today and I ended up doing this braid twice and this braid twice. But I definitely would say that I got the hang of it. And I ended up being able to do my two braids just like I wanted. I'm really, really, really proud of the fact that I eventually got it to work also. But we are about to do my lashes before I go to sleep. So I'm going to go grab my lash glue. But today we are using the Bayelian. I'm gonna give you guys my lash map and everything. I'm gonna put these in the description down below so you can find out where I got them and all that shit. Also, y'all, I am officially able to receive commission on TikTok. So, but I don't want to be one of those commissioner TikTokers where I'm literally just trying to sell a product so I can get money off of it because I'm a sales lady in real life. Like, I sell alcohol, and that's not easy to be knowledgeable 
and to be personable with people. I found a way to connect with everyone that sits down at the bar with me. I sell them whatever they're interested in. If not, bitch, I'll freestyle it to become a boo something that you like. Like, you're gonna spend your money with me. Anything I will be promoting on my TikTok account will obviously be suitable for my personal use. Simple. Like, and just like that, I bet you, I just convinced you to go to my TikTok account. I've had a few brand deals in my email that I have turned down because I'm just not interested. Like, for example, I got a brand deal for this um, teeth whitening company and I'm good. Like, you know, they were actually going to pay me like because I'm first starting out. A lot of these places are just trying to give me like um, free merch for promotion. But I got one of my first paid promotions and I turned it down. It's not something I'm willing to fake talk about or learn about either because I'm not interested. So that just goes to prove that come shop with me. Follow me, turn my updates on, turn my notifications on so you can be updated anytime I do drop a gem because I have a good word. <laughs> okay, but well, I'm going to go get my, um, my shit so we can do my lashes. Now, I really hope you guys do fuck with me on my TikTok shop because I need to get a new phone with more storage. So I kind of need y'all to shop with me. I only have like 120 gigabytes on my phone and it's just not enough to be this aspiring creative content creator. Like it's very hard having to delete videos to, to just to record a new video. I would say this is a pretty damn good angle right now. See, there was some shit in my lashes. So now I'm probably just gonna double up on the same exact map that I did so that it just looks a little bit fuller. Okay, I have now doubled up on this side as you can see and I changed my whole setup because I got hot and shit. So now I'm on the floor with it and it's kind of hard to give you guys content like this. So I'm just gonna finish and be done. But I do gotta tell you guys. So the only thing is that I have two different like kind of eye shapes. I do the more prominent eye first and then I do the eye that's like a little bit easier to work with for me according to how this eye came out so like for this side i have like 16 16 14 14 14 12 10. this one i already have three 16s on it i'm probably going to do 16 16 16 14 14 and then like a 12 and maybe try to fit in a 10 somewhere see, i might have to cut the 10 down i don't know we'll see but i'll come back and tell you guys exactly what i did honestly this is probably one of the best map sets i've done in a while i guess it doesn't really matter if i'm using two different lash mouths but i'm gonna tell you guys anyways this eye is gonna be a 16 this is starting from the back and going forward 16 16 14 14 14 12 10. this is on my like circle shaped eye on my almond eye i have 16 16 16 14 14 10 10. i love that hello guys so we are officially on the last day of business i'm not having the best day because niggas ain't shit but it's all right let's be okay just have to get past these emotions all right so we got the curl now this is her this is what she's giving and i actually like Recorded some videos with it and I really dig it. Like it just looks like braids coming out of my scalp. Look, I love it. <laughs> but we do have to do my edges. That's the the main thing. So okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna take out my my little back piece. Hey y'all, I literally had to delete some freaking storage in my phone. I had to delete some videos that I actually needed, but I ended up editing them and then deleting like the, the, the main videos, you know what I'm saying? So, which is annoying as hell, but life of a content creator, what can I say? So I finished my hair. I don't even know if I showed you guys the finished look, but 
I did my edges all the way. I'm really fucking with them. Like, they're so cute. This hairstyle is just so playful and so cute. I really love it. And I just got this little shirt on. I'm about to put on some... Well, this is what I have on right now. Just, like, some biker shorts. I'm going to put on some light wash jeans and be out the dough. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias down in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.